Okay, so this tutorial is going to be about um, animating head turns and how to get more life and flow and give your animation that special shebang um, that you may see some of these you know, like if you watch a fairly rigid TV animation or you watch a say a Disney movie, there's there's an apparent difference. Now, I'm far from a Disney animator, but um, I have uh, I have a few skills that I can share with you, <laughs> that I think I can anyway. So anyway, so here I am, I'm just drawing a character to demonstrate the head turn with. I'm just making it up on the spot. Looks a bit like my wife, but um, there you go. Um, but uh, so anyway, so you basically start with your key frames. Um, uh, so your first frame and obviously now I'm going to be working on what my last frame is going to be which is obviously the the head in another position because she's obviously turning her head so um, I did another tutorial well not really a tutorial just a demonstration of an animation animating a short sequence in 10 minutes called I think 2D drawn animation in real time and that video has really been one of my biggest hits and um, one of the reasons I'm doing this video is because a lot of people were requesting voice narration and just showing a little bit, explaining a bit more how I got those results so quickly within a 10 minute time frame so um, that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to do a similar sort of action although not the same now what you might notice between my first frame and my last frame is things are a bit different. See her shoulder is down in the first frame so I'm putting it up in the last frame and um, just looking for an interesting change of shape between both keyframes because it keeps the action from being rigid and robotic you know so just like you know a counter of a shoulder line or whatever okay so there's the two frames that's what they look like now um, those of you who've done animation before probably know about doing a head turn where you put a little dip in the head turn, you know, that's called an arc, you know, so if you have a head looking down or up, a down arc or an up arc, I've chosen to go down here, it uh, creates a more naturalistic head turn. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm also adding a blink in there, so I'm putting her eyes closed, you know, and just, um, you know, fairly routine stuff for those of you who've studied a bit of animation. You know, um, you know, yeah, you gotta dip the head on the head turn. You know, another thing I'm doing here is I'm I'm subtly um, working out, you know, mapping out what 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 is gonna possibly happen with other aspects like her hair, for example. I want it to delay and follow through. Normally, you wouldn't you wouldn't really pay so much attention to that when roughing but I'm trying to explain everything in one little 10 minute video so I'm going to do a bit of that here so yeah her hair is sort of like staying behind lagging behind her I want to convey that in this this is called a breakdown drawing that I'm doing I'm breaking or drawing down between two keys that's the one in the middle now it's tempting to just go straight and start in betweening it but no no that's not what we're going to do here we're going to do something called an anticipation which will start giving your animation just that little bit more life and that's why I'm making this video um, to share some of the trade secrets of or whatever knowledge I have and if you noticed I'm having her head going up so from the first frame that I can first keyframe I'm having her head going up and um, it's actually going in slightly the opposite direction now what I'm also doing is I'm going to have her eye looking in the direction that she's going to be turning her head in. Just those little subtleties, they make a huge difference when it when it starts to come together at the end. The drawing's really crude, I'm being really rough, so sorry about that, because I'm trying to get it done in 10 minutes, um, as always, so you know, I'm not the best of artists, but um, okay, so uh, now we want to get between there and there and again it's tempting to just go well I'll just slow into this phase but that's not what we're going to do we're not going to do that so what we're going to do is we're going to take the breakdown drawing um, a little bit beyond the the final frame 
so she's going to be looking the arc of motion from her head is going to be going higher and a little bit beyond where it's going to end up so that'll just add just a little bit more and you can see what I'm doing with the hair as well this is I'm adding that delay there so it'll catch up on itself when it settles down just rough in these eyes really quick here yeah if I said this was my wife to her I think she would um, probably give me a clip around the ear or but, <laughs> but anyway I see her and everything um, okay so she's turning the head into this extreme position this is another breakdown from the breakdown a breakdown of a breakdown I guess because I don't want to go straight into the key so you can see it's going beyond and then it'll settle down into that so essentially that's what we have so if we look at um, it all going like that um, okay so now I'm going to start in betweening between the first frame and the anticipation breakdown because that's what will get the effectiveness in the head turn you don't want to robotically in between everything evenly because you'll get a very dead movement you want to do what's called slowing in and slowing out slowing in is where you have lots of frames in one movement and slowing out is when you have lots of frames going out of one movement so what you'll see when you can see through all these frames here is it's like a pendulum effect where the the most extreme end of the motion has got lots of frames um, and the bigger the gap there's a lesser frame in between like I'm just putting this one halfway between and there's a bigger gap between these frames now naturally if I was going to animate this fully and properly I would have even more in-betweens but um, I'm just going to leave it as is so you can see that even with the few in-betweens I'm doing here just how much flow and life there will be in this head turn um, so that's essentially what we're getting and again I'm going to plonk one halfway in the middle this is called a half you know and you can see there's quite a good big gap between the breakdown and this additional breakdown I've made um, you know it's going in the middle but you can see there's quite a big gap there because it's a broad movement it's a broad movement and so we're going to not have so many in-betweens going in between that movement even if I was to finish the scene off running at 12 frames per second not 24 um, I would probably leave those in-betweens as is and just keep um, in betweening the slow ends and slow outs towards the ends of the frame for a more pendulum effect but I'm just gonna uh, do it standardly break it down standardly for you here just the the raw amount of in-betweens that's required to for, for you to see how it works so let's just get all that going in place um, I'm not gonna really focus on, on the hair too much uh, now I'm gonna settle in this to the final pose which is where you know she's gonna her resting place so you can see the gaps getting smaller between the end between it's getting lesser and lesser there's you know the drawings are looking quite messy when you layer them up on top of each other because there's not much gaps between them you can't really see the movement as, as much and that's what creates a slower movement um, those of you asking about which button to press to get the onion skin and how do I see through this this is not what this video is about this video is about animation um, I suggest you look at flash tutorial videos and whatnot for that effect because um, my channel is about animating and I'm not an expert on computer software um, uh, anyway so um, let's keep going uh, so that's settling into that pose there and if we look at it that's essentially what it's looking like but I'm gonna break it down further because this just to emphasize my point for that pendulum effect I'm gonna put one more in between in between the first uh, movement and the last movement just so you can um, 
really get the effect of the motion. And you can see, I mean, this video is, is going to take 10 minutes. Yeah, fine, the drawing is, is not that fantastic. But when you're animating, when you're blocking a scene out, you can't really get caught up with doing a great, great finish, nice drawing from the outset. You, you've got to get your action right. Now, it's true, I wouldn't be in-betweening it to this level if, with these rough drawings like that, because it's pointless, it's a waste of time. But I'm doing that, I'm in betweening it to this level with these rough drawings so that you can see the, the motion of the action. I would just clean up my breakdowns and, and keys and then I would in between it if I was doing this for a proper finished scene. But I want you guys to see the theory behind it all. The theory behind actually getting this extra life in your head turn by going just a bit before the point and after the point. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much done with this here. You know, that's essentially what you have. A nice flowing motion. It's not exactly fully in between. It's still rough, but you can see it's, it's not a rigid action. Well, there you go. If you like um, what, you, what you see, then by all means have a go.